In this lesson, we are learning about partners capital accounts and final accounts. We're therefore looking at the methods of maintaining partners capital account in a partnership business, as well as the preparation of final accounts of a partnership. That is in terms of the form of final, final accounts and also the procedures of preparing them. In the lesson, then we shall learn the following. At the end of the lesson, the, st the student should be able to explain the accounting entries for formation of a partnership. That is whatever the entries are made when partners contribute capital, when partners contribute any other benefit or any other contribution that they make in the partnership business. We shall also explain the difference between the two methods of preparing partners' capital accounts. The first method is called fluctuating capital method and fixed capital method. The next one is identify the basis for dividing net income or loss among the partners, otherwise known as appropriation, partnership um, appropriation, appropriation of partnership profit. And lastly, describe the form and content of partnership financial statements. The statement of, of uh, profit or loss together with appropriation account, the statement of financial position. And there we shall explain how the statement of financial position of a partnership differs from that of uh, sole proprietorship. Right. To begin with, we are looking at the methods of maintaining partners capital account in a partnership. And we are looking at how the partners capital account is maintained under the fixed capital method and other fluctuating capital method. I have prepared the differences here, which will explain to us how the two methods are different. The first point of difference is the number of accounts prepared. In the fixed capital method, two accounts are prepared. Partners capital account together with partners current account. In fluctuating capital method, only one account is prepared, which is known as fluctuating partners capital account or fluctuating capital account. Secondly, the nature of capital account and talking about the nature of capital account is that in fixed capital method, the capital account remain unchanged throughout the life of the partnership. Or in case the partnership account is being changed, it is changed with long-term items. For example, additional capital of the partners or permanent withdrawal of capital by the partners. That is what changes the partner's capital account. But in fluctuating capital method, the partner's capital balance especially fluctuates from year to year. Yearly adjustments. In fake capital method, the following adjustments are done. Salary payments, interest on capital, interest on drawings, all these are made in the current account. In case of fluctuating capital methods, the adjustments are supposed to be made in the capital account. That is why the, the balance of capital account keeps on fluctuating from year after year. It keeps on fluctuating because yearly adjustments are done there as compared to the fake capital method. Position in the statement of financial position. Capital and current account appear in the statement of financial position. That is under the fixed capital method. While under fluctuating capital method, only capital account appears. It appears under the name of each partner, but then current account does not appear in the uh, statement of financial position. Therefore, 
if we maintain the account using the fixed capital method, then the partner's capital account looks like this. If we have two partners, partner A and partner B, then it's begin with the opening balances. The balance is brought down for each partner, uh, which is followed by additional capital if there is additional capital, and then the closing balances. In case there is withdrawal of capital, that is permanent withdrawal of capital, then it is uh, recorded there, capital withdrawal. But you find this may not be so common. In case it is, then it is, uh, I mean, if it is there, then it is recorded here. It is not a common item. In case it is there, it is recorded there. Then after that, there is um, just balancing off of the account and closing. So you can see there are only two items that will affect this particular account. If there is a permanent capital withdrawal, permanent additional of capital or permanent withdrawal of capital, capital withdrawal, those two items. Otherwise, without those, then you find that the capital account will remain the same. That is to mean the opening balance will be the same as the closing balance. The current account under the fixed capital method looks like this. It begins with the opening balances of the current account of each partner. That is followed by, if we have interest on capital, then it's added. And if we have any partners receiving commissions or salaries added, then share of profit. And if there is any partners who have given a loan to the partnership business, then interest on such loan is recorded also in the current account. That is loan to part, the loan from partners to the partnership. Then on this side, we have drawings. And drawings here is like a borrowing from the partnership. A partner borrows from the partnership with intention to retire. That is called drawing and is recorded there. Interest on the, the same drawing is also recorded on the same side. Share of losses. In case the partnership business makes losses, then the losses are recorded here. Lastly, we have the closing balance or the balance carried down. And then we balance off the account, as you can see. And that makes the partner's current account. This partner's current account usually records or maintains accounts of short-term interest of partners in the partnership or changes, annual changes or yearly adjustments. Are what are here? Let us look at the fluctuating capital method. And in the fluctuating capital method, only one account is prepared, which is called the partner's capital account. And the name is fluctuating capital account. In this account, the opening balance is usually the first item, but this opening balance is followed by additional interest on capital, is followed by additional capital, is followed by partner's commission, is followed by partner salaries, followed by share of profit, and interest on partner's loans. Now, you can see in this case, Long-term items of capital are added together with short-term items here, or short-term interest of the partners in the business. On the other side, capital withdrawal, and this is permanent capital withdrawal, withdrawal of capital, drawings, interest on drawings, share of loss in case the partnership makes losses, then the closing balance, then we balance off the account as this. Then in the final account, we shall look at two accounts, beginning with the statement of profit or loss, which will go together with appropriation account. Statement of profit or loss is prepared the, the same way as the statement of profit or loss 
for a sole proprietorship business. But then it has some few differences from um, the statement of profit or loss of a sole proprietorship business. The difference is that it has additional section, which is known as appropriation account. This account shows how the partners share the net profit for that particular period. Interest on partners loan is included in this appropriation account. As interest on loan from other sources is being included as expenses in the statement of profit or loss, this one is not included there. The reason being it is a partner's benefit from the partnership business. So all the interests of the partners in the partnership business are usually not, rec not are usually recorded in the appropriation account, then transferred to the current account for that particular year. Let us look at the profit appropriation account. It is prepared as follows, beginning with the net profit which has been reported for that year. Then the net profit is distributed as follows. Add interest on drawings. If some partners had taken a loan from the business and therefore they are paying interest, that is called drawings. The interest on drawings, assuming we have partner A and partner B, so the interest paid by partner A and interest paid by partner B, all of them are added back or are added to the net profit for the period. Then interest on capital. If partners are earning some interest from the partnership due to their capital investments, then such interest are supposed to be uh, reported by being subtracted in the appropriation account as follows. Partner A and partner B, their interest on capital is deducted. Following is the partner salaries, bonuses, and commissions. And now these bonuses, salaries, and commissions are supposed to be deducted as follows partner A and partner B, followed by interest on partners' loans. If some partners have extended loans to the partnership and therefore they earn interest, such are supposed to be deducted here for partner A and partner B. After all these, the resulting figure is known as profit to be shared, which is shared among the partners as follows. So the share of profit is between partner A and partner B. And if that profit is shared, then what remains is zero. What remains is zero. Following is the statement of financial position. The statement of financial position of a partnership business is similar to that of a sole proprietorship also, except it has the following few differences. Capital accounts and current accounts of each partner is listed separately in the statement of financial position. There are two ways of setting out the capital in the section uh, capital section in the statement of financial position. One is a detailed capital section. Detailed capital section shows the capital account balances at the end of the year and all the detailed information are recorded in each partner's current account. Then we have a summarized capital section, which shows the final capital balances of each partner capital and each partner's current account. Let us illustrate this using the following format. The statement of financial position starts with the non-current assets, with the examples given are property uh, and machinery followed by current assets and the examples given are inventories, receivables, and cash, followed by current liabilities under which the examples given are payable, accruals, and bank overdraft. That is the net assets as given here. And this is financed by the following. So as I explained, uh, the, the capital section can be presented in two ways. The first way of presenting the capital section is as this, where we have the capital accounts and current accounts of each partner. 
partner A, capital account and current account, partner B, capital account and current account, and the total. That therefore gives us the total capital or the total financing. The second alternative is this one, where we have balances brought down at the beginning, and you can see the balances here. Then add share of profits for the year. Then add net doings for the year. Subtract net doings for the year. Then we get the balance at the end. This is the same format used in the sole proprietorship. And if this format is to be applied, then the, the, the capital and current account balances must be added together. This is the method that therefore is used easily in uh, fluctuating capital method. And in case this is being applied, then it requires additional notes to explain the capital and the current account balances. Otherwise, it is very difficult to understand that this is a partnership business and this is what um, the capital balances at the current account balances are. What is following this particular lesson is an, an example, a detailed example with a solution explaining that process of preparing the various accounts, that is the partner's capital account, the partner's current account, together with the final account, the statement of financial position, the statement of uh, profit or loss together with appropriation. Therefore, look out for the next lesson.